Hi everyone. This drawing here is a combination of cloudy puffs and worm tunnels. So first of all, start off by drawing some clouds or some type of giraffe print or cow print you might see as well in this. Whatever it is uh, that it looks like to you or whatever shape you'd like to draw, just make sure that when you do place the next shape, leave a slight gap as evenly as you can around each one of those shapes so that it kind of it looks like a path. Now go ahead and do that for the rest of the page. I think it creates a nice effect when they are different shapes and different sizes. This step now we'll be adding the worm tunnel. I love a good worm tunnel and if you've watched some of my other videos or seen some of my tutorials on TikTok you'll see that it's super duper easy to do but um, if you just want a quick little explanation basically you're drawing a semi circle and the important thing about the worm tunnel is to be able to start that line and end that line right in the crease that is created from the previous curved line so have a look at where I start the line and end it really go into that corner really really go into the corner and then start from start from one corner and just uh, draw a semicircle it kind of creates like a crescent moon shape and then bring that line back into the corner again now if you don't do it like this it does not give the three-dimensional effect that you're really looking for when it comes to a worm tunnel so really give that a go try to get right into that corner When you get to an intersection point, like what's coming up now, you just continue on with your curved lines and you just keep going and then you just sort of veer off into one direction. So just keep going with your semicircles, keep going and keep going and then you see that there's a point where it touches uh, the opposite line and then you just continue on in one of the directions and then you can come back to the other side and continue on but it's basically just a whole bunch of curved lines that goes on and on and on.
The next part here of the process is just basically thickening up all of the lines. So I go over the border, I go over the cloud or the um, cow print, giraffe print, whatever blob shape you have, and I just really thicken up all of those lines. Uh, not only does it sort of tidy up the work, if you have some slight imperfections, you can see that there's some texture marks on the insides of those uh, blobs. But when you thicken it up, it actually adds a nice uh, depth to the three-dimensional effect that's created by those uh, worm tunnel curve lines. So go ahead and really spend a little bit of time here to outline, thicken up uh, those, the print and the, uh, the borderline. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. The only thing I guess you would add to this if you really wanted to was um, some color. So I've seen some versions with color in the background. I think it looks really, really cool. I just haven't been game enough to try it yet, but I might do a second video adding some color. If you wanna see more of this kind of stuff, please just uh, head over to TikTok and check out my page. Hope to see you there.